Hello, and welcome to another episode. After the media stated that the recent Tau Hercule meteor shower could turn into a meteor storm, many people were left disappointed, with some asking when is the next meteor storm actually going to happen? Well, in this episode, I'm going to talk about what meteor storms are and when the next one may actually occur. Before we get into what a meteor storm is, let's cover the meteor shower. As a comet approaches the sun, it warms up and releases a cloud of gas and debris. The debris retains the approximate orbit of the comet and spreads out over time. Then, every time the Earth orbits around the sun intersects with this debris cloud, a meteor shower occurs. So what is a meteor storm? A meteor storm occurs when the Earth goes through the, an unusually dense part of a comet's debris cloud and produces a thousand or more meteors per hour. To understand the meteor storms and the likelihood of one when will occur in the future, it is important to take a look at some of the historical meteor storms. I don't want to go back beyond the 19th century due to the generally inaccurate and imprecise records of the time. In fact, until the Le Aguel meteor fell in France in 1803, the scientific consensus at the time didn't realise that meteor showers consisted of rocks from space. Coincidentally, the first storm of the 19th century also occurred in 1803 and was a particularly intense Leonid's meteor storm. The Leonids originate from the comet Temple Tuttle, and there is actually some evidence for this meteor shower dating back as far as 687 BC. The Leonids usually give regular meteor storms every 33 years, and this was proved correct again in 1833, with a storm producing 20 meteors per second. A Leonid's meteor storm that occurred again in 1866 and 1867 and 1868. In 1898, the comet Temple Tuttle made a close approach to Jupiter, with the giant planet's gravitational field throwing both the comet and its debris, of course, meaning that the meteor storm didn't happen again until 1966. A surprise meteor storm occurred in 1872 due to Belia's comet splitting in two in 1845. Meteor rates of up to four a second were recorded. The meteor shower became known as the Andromedids. The Andromedids occurred again as a meteor storm in 1885, with meteor rates of about 4 a second. 48 years later, in 1933, a surprise meteor storm occurred due to the periodic comet Gibicone Zinner, with meteor rates of 20 per second occurring. This meteor shower is now known as the Draconids. The Draconids reoccurred as a meteor storm in 1946. But this time, the meteor rate was in the range of 3 per second at its peak. The greatest meteor storm in recorded history then occurred in 1966. After a long hiatus, the Leonids had returned with a vengeance, with approximately 40 meteors per second were recorded and seen across the entire world. The Leonids then reappeared back on schedule in 1999 for a brief meteor storm, giving a meteor rate of between 1 to 2 per second. In a similar way to what happened in 1866 to 1868, the Leonids then came back in strength over the following years. In 2001, the Leonids gave us a meteor approximately every three seconds, then again in 2002 with rates of about a meteor per second. I don't know about you, but whenever I look at historical astronomical events like these, especially the gaps between events, human lifespans never seem to stack up well. So, when will the next meteor storm occur? The time of a meteor storm and its intensity is very difficult to predict. But as you've probably guessed by now from looking at the historical information, the regular Leonid's meteor shower is the best candidate for a meteor storm as it has the largest potential numbers of meteors per hour for any meteor shower over a given year. The Leonids are also a good performer when it comes to storms, creating a meteor storm approximately every 33 years. Mikhail Maslov has made some good calculations of the Leonid's hourly rates, and I have a link to his research paper in the description. As you might expect, after the meteor storm in 1999, 2001 and 2002, there is a predicted to be a meteor shower in 2034 and 2035, with a predicted maximum of 500 meteors per hour, but there still doesn't reach the meteor storm threshold of 1000 meteors per second. In fact, McCallie predicts the next meteor storm should occur in 2094, when the Earth goes through some particularly dense comet debris, giving 1300 to 1400 meteors per hour. However, I still recommend attempting to follow the tried and tested Leonid meteor storm prediction method of a meteor storm happening approximately every 33 years. Even if McCallie's work is correct, try not to be too disappointed, as the meteor storms from history show us 
there is always a chance we'll be surprised by another unpredicted meteor storm before them. Well, that's all for another episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you liked the episode, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you'd like to see more astronomy episodes, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies. Oh.